every hour, every time, God. We need you every single day in our life, God. We need you. Please be with us in this moment. As I'm going to speak your word, God, open our mind, open our heart, God. May your word go deep inside and transform lives. This is our prayer, God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. God's people say, God's people say, amen. Remain standing for a while. Take your Bible and turn it to Romans chapter 1. We're going to read only one verse. It's a well-known verse. And uh, I would like you to pay attention to it. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you find it, say amen. If you need more light, say yes. You see? You like your darkness, right? <laughs> okay. Let me read for you. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. <laughs> because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. First to the Jew, then to the Gentiles. Amen? Amen? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be proud of gospel. Be proud of gospel. My brothers and sisters, nowadays it seems like uh, life is upside down. What people were ashamed of in the past, nowadays they are proud to do it. They are proud to express themselves and to let everybody know that I am this, I am that. And in the past, it would be a curse if you say that to someone. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you, as Christians, our perception should be based on the word of God, not on population not on philosophy, not on the society. People may see something like this, but you, according to your faith, according to your belief, you should see it differently because your perception has a foundation in your belief. If you believe in God, the word of God should be your guide and your perception should be directed by the word of God. Sometimes we find some people, they are ashamed to do right. They are ashamed to do good things, but they are not ashamed to do wrong. They are not ashamed to lie. They are not ashamed to do bad things. They are not ashamed to do evil. This is exactly why I come this morning with this verse. I know for some of you it's a well-known verse, but for some, for some others it, it could be a brand new verse. But let me explain to my brothers and sisters. In Romans chapter 1, verse 16, Apostle Paul, uh, 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 who was a preacher of gospel, and sometimes uh, uh, he was facing hardship to preach because sometimes they put him in jail and they beat him and, 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 and no matter what uh, happened to him, but he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. And this is the theme of our meditation for this morning. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, but I turn it. I'm proud of the gospel. I'm proud of the gospel. Let me tell you something. If you want to be ashamed of something, it's not gospel. Take a look around you. Take a look in your life. Take a look at what's happening in the world. If you, are, if you are looking for something to be ashamed of, to be ashamed of, it's not gospel. Because gospel is the way that you can have, find eternal life. Gospel is not the thing that you should be ashamed of. My young people, let me tell you something. I know you got good friends and you got bad friends. I know sometimes you find yourself in good environment and sometimes in bad environment. Let me tell you, if you are looking something that you should be proud of, it's gospel. If I'm telling the truth, say amen. Say amen. Yeah, uh, because let me tell you something, my, my, my brothers and sisters. Sometimes, even in, uh, uh, when you turn on your TV, you see some people, they are so proud of themselves. And when you compare their way of living with gospel, with Bible, they should be ashamed of themselves. But guess what? Because they have money, because they are making money, and people say, oh, it's good, it's good. No, it's not. 
Gospel is exactly the thing that you should be proud of. Sometimes we, some, we find some young people, they are ashamed to bring their Bible with them. And some others, they are not ashamed to bring their condom. It's not good. Sometimes we find some young people, they are ashamed to say, I'm a Christian. But some others, they are ashamed to say, I was in uh, 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 the club yesterday night, I was dancing. But listen, listen, you guys, you, servant of the Lord, you Christian, you should be proud of the gospel. To say, yes, I'm a servant of the Lord. Yes, I'm a church people. Yes, I'm a servant of the Lord. You should be proud of that. Proud. Even they tell all stories because they keep in their mind only bad stories happen to the church. People fighting, people cursing, people doing bad, people doing bad. But they never say, if you want to feel good in the presence of the Lord, go to the church. If you want to find yourself among worshipers that worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, you cannot find it in the streets. You cannot find it in your home. Even in your own room, you can find people worshiping at the level that you are looking for. But if you want to find yourself among people worshiping God in spirit and in truth, you, you need to go to church. Find yourself among people that worshiping in spirit and in truth. You should be proud of gospel. Amen? Amen? Amen. I know sometimes you are suffering because, because of the gospel, you cannot do what they are doing. They do all kinds of things to get money. They do what, whatever they want just to be seen by people. And sometimes when you, are, when you want to follow God according to his word, you keep yourself humble. Sometimes they don't understand you. Sometimes they treat you bad. Sometimes they consider you as a poor man, a poor woman. Because sometimes they consider you as a non-educated person. But let me tell you something. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself when you, when you know for sure that you are a follower of God. When you know for sure that you are applying the word of God in your life. When you know for sure I'm on my way to heaven, you should be proud of yourself. Amen? But in this verse, we find two reasons to be proud of the gospel. The Bible says in the same verse, because it is the power of God. Let's stop right there. Gospel is what? Ah, no, you can do better than that. Let me hear your voice. What is gospel is? The power of God. Let me tell you something, my, my brothers and sisters. Can you understand that? Is that the power of American army? Is that the power of uh, 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 Russia? It's the power of God the Almighty. That means there is no other power higher than that. The power of God means the power who has created heaven and earth. The power of God means this power would bring back to life dead people after four days. The power of God means only the power can bring life to you. The power of God means that power can do everything. If I'm telling the truth, let me hear a man. How could you be ashamed of the power of God? You may say whatever you want. But gospel remains gospel. People at the church could do bad, but the gospel remains gospel. Because everywhere you find good people, you find bad people. I'm telling the truth. In your school, you find good people and bad people. In your job, no matter what company you are working in, you got good people, you got bad people. At the hospital where you are working, you got good people, you got bad people. At the restaurant, at the hotel, no matter what the place, you find good people and you find bad people. And let me tell you something. Church is not a place there God creates special people to put in. Those people that you see inside of the church, they come from the hotel, uh, 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 university, they come from all over the place. That means the church is a place where the word of God transforms. Oh, lots of people. We may find some people, their lives is, is, 
is already transformed. Some others are on their way. In others, they are still at the starting point. That means there is no transformation yet in their life. This is the thing. Because at the church, you find some people transformed by the word and their way of living is correct. Some others, they do something wrong, something good. Because they don't have, they don't get the maturity required by the world to live according to God's word. We find other people, they come to church just to observe things. They want to do things. Or they feel comfortable with some friends. They come to church. Amen? So, you can find some church people doing bad, but gospel remains gospel. If I'm going to say amen, say amen. Don't. Put gospel at the place of people, don't put people at the place of gospel. Gospel means gospel, and gospel is a good thing that we should be proud of. And amen, amen, because gospel is the power of God. <laughs> there is no power like this, no power, nowhere in the world, nowhere. The power of God. Sometimes you got some people because they have a weapon in their pocket. They are proud of themselves. Because if you touch me, I'm going to kill you. But the power of God that can heal your body. The power, the power of God that can put you up. Even everybody put you down. God with his power can turn everything wrong. The first reason to be proud of the gospel is because it is the power of God. Amen? Amen. Don't be afraid to lose some friends to keep your gospel. I say amen if I tell you the truth. Don't be afraid to lose a job because of gospel. Because I cannot put a job in the place of the power of God. If I lose this job, I will find another one. Because the power of God can give me a better one. Amen? The power of God can give you. But let me go deeper. Don't be afraid to lose a girlfriend. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to hear him. I, I, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. <laughs> Don't be afraid to lose your boyfriend. Because God is the one who can bring to you a better one. You will be surprised to see, oh God, thank you. Thank you for what happened to me two weeks ago. If I didn't lose him, I would never get the good one that I got today. Amen. Amen. So, be proud of the gospel because it is the power of God. Amen. If all your family members are against you, keep gospel. Because with the power of God, you can turn everything around. You can change the situation. You can change the atmosphere. You can change your life. Even your dad and your mom could be against you. Keep gospel. The power of God. If the bank take your car, if the bank take your house because you are late in your payment, you lose your house, you lose your car, hey, keep gospel. The power of God can bring to you what you didn't expect. You didn't expect to be at this, at this level, but the power of God can put you at the level that you, have, you never expected to be. Amen? The power of God. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, sometimes you ask yourself, you question yourself, I don't know if it will be possible for me. I don't know if I can get it. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. But listen, because you, are, you, you, you think about your power, your power is almost nothing. Why you don't count on the power of God? With God, you can do all things. Because the apostle Paul says, I can do all things through God who is triggering me. No one can know exactly how far God is going with you. Because God is looking for some people believing his word and to go far with them. No one can know right now. No one can say accurately at the level you will be tomorrow or in the, in the future. Because the power of God can put you so high, people may be surprised. So, my brothers and sisters, be proud of the gospel. First of all, because it's the power of of God. Amen? <laughs> Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. The second reason in the verse 
We should be proud of the gospel. The Bible says, is the power of God that brings what? Salvation to everyone who believes. My brothers and sisters, let me say that before going to this verse, there is no bigger thing than your salvation. Salvation, if you are saved, this is the most important thing that can happen to your life. Instead of being rich, it's better to be saved. No, it's, uh, no, 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 you can't do better than that. Let me hear everybody if I'm telling the truth. Listen, what, listen, listen. If you are rich and you lose your soul, what that can bring to you? You're going to suffer eternally in hell. But when you are saved, that means a lot. Your salvation is more than your house. Your salvation is more than your car. Your salvation is more than your job. Your salvation is more than your, your degree. And the Bible says, only one thing that can bring salvation to you is the power of God, which is the gospel. The gospel. Nothing else can bring salvation to you. It's reason why when I get my first son, I say, God, I don't know what kind of career you got in your plan for him. But please, save him for me. My second, my third one, my fourth one, God, I know as a human being, I would not want to be a lawyer, doctor, uh, uh, an attorney. Sometimes as a human being, we are thinking about everything. But you know, God, please, on top of all those things, I want all of them to be saved. Amen? Amen. If you really want, if you will really love someone, you will love his soul. If you will really love someone, pray God to save him. Amen. So only one power on the earth that can bring salvation to everyone, which is gospel. Gospel. Without gospel, you will go to hell. Without gospel, you will suffer forever. Without gospel, guess what? The enemy can destroy your life. Without gospel, the enemy can, can, can make you blind. Without gospel, the enemy can do whatever they want with you because there is nothing that can protect you against your enemy. And I know for sure, for some of you, you are here this morning just because the power of God. My brothers and sisters, be proud of the gospel because it is the power of God. And second, only one thing that can bring salvation to everyone. If today I expect to live in heaven one day, it's just because of gospel. Amen? <laughs> because no one can expect to go to heaven without gospel. So, if nowadays there are so many bad stories happening in church around the world, please, church is church. Gospel is gospel. People, people, gospel, gospel. Today, I, I'm not come to you. Uh, I don't come to you to say, "Hey, be proud of someone, be proud of your mom, your dad." That that depend on you. That depend on your perception. But listen, gospel. I ask you, in the name of the Lord, be proud of the gospel, because no one can change it. No one can come with another gospel. No one can just for gospel. Gospel remains gospel from the beginning to the end. Amen? So, young people, I know sometimes at your school, we got some bad people talking at your ears, saying so many bad things. Be proud of yourself and say, I'm a Christian. I'm a servant of the Lord. And I'm proud of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen? If they ask you, why are you so proud of your gospel? Why are you not ashamed of the gospel? Why you are so proud? Say, yes, because gospel is the power of God. If they continue to talk to you, say, not only that, the gospel is only one thing that can bring salvation to everyone. Without gospel, you will be lost. You will go to hell and you will go to suffer for the rest for not the rest of your life, but forever. Forever. My brothers and sisters, young people, be proud of the gospel. 
if you want to bring your Bible with you, hey, because other people, they bring some bad books, bad CDs, they are watching bad things at the school everywhere. Be proud to carry your Bible in your head. In your break time, be proud to read your Bible in your cell phone. Let me hear amen if I'm telling the truth. Be proud in your break time. After taking your, your lunch, open your Bible in your phone, in your iPad, or if you had a hard copy, open it and read it. Because in this book, we find the gospel. This is my word to you this morning. I would like to, my young people to stand on your feet. And we would have prayed God for one thing. Say, God, please, make me proud, more proud, day after day. Day after day, I want to be proud of gospel. No matter where I am, no matter where I am, no matter what happened to me, keep me proud of gospel. Amen? Amen? If you understand that, put your hands up and say amen. Let me pray for you. As you are praying in your heart, let me pray for you. Our Father in heaven, the server of souls, we come to you this morning because we got some young people, God, because of things happening around them, they lose focus. Some of them are ashamed to express themselves, to say they are Christian, to say they are servant of the Lord. Some of them, God, they want to hide their Bible. I come to you this morning, God, to put your spirit in them, God, to empower them that they can understand what the gospel is. Sometimes, God, some of us, we consider gospel as gossip. People doing wrong, doing bad, but they don't know if gospel is the power of the almighty God. They don't know if gospel is only one thing that can bring salvation to each and every one. Please God, help everyone, everyone, each and every one of us, God, to be proud of gospel. Not only for today, but every day, God, until the end, we want to be proud of you. If you agree with this prayer, God's people say amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord.